show. I look into Halloween in Berkeley and the amazing people behind it. Also, joining us today is a very special guest to talk a little bit about the haunted house. Coming at you from the Brooklyn studio. I'm Joe. And I'm Jazzy. Hey Jazzy, we're feeling kind of hungry today. Hey, well guess what? Today's chocolate cupcake day. Where's mine? I'm one. Also, teachers and members of student council have now begun preparations for Halloween. I'm so hyped for this year's scared clown I know, I can't wait. Hey, I wonder who are people behind all this year's Halloween. Let's find out. It's another new year at Berkeley International School, and student council is better than ever. Hi, I'm Ms. Lindsay, and I'm one of the sponsors for student council, which is an after-school activity that's made up of an elected group of your peers. The students are the voice of the student body at Berkeley. So they participate in helping make decisions about the school with the students' interests in mind. So they put on the bot wars at the beginning of the year to fund the haunted house that is going on in a couple weeks. And they will also help plan the school carnival for Chinese New Year. This is my fourth year at student council now. And, wow, it's, it's gotten a lot bigger. It's cool how we can be the mediator between the teachers and the students. And it's really awesome how we can get students to impact the school and what we do here. Student council is so much fun. I love participating in the events and coming to the meetings. This is my first year in student council. Everyone was welcoming me and I love Ms. Minty so much. Hi, I'm Pepper, and I'm your vice president. Hi, I'm Missy, and I'm glad to be your student council president for this year. I can't wait to have fun in student council. Hey! So be prepared for some amazing student council events. Reporting for Berkeley TV, this is Flora. Join us today is Miss Lindsay, one of the teachers for student council. Welcome to Berkeley TV, Miss Lindsay. Hey, y'all. Are there any age restrictions for this year's haunted house? There's not age restrictions per se, but we have come up with a schedule that all the students will go with their designated classes in pre-K all the way up to grade five. So our student council members, such as Jazzy, will be making it scarier depending on what grade is in the haunted house. And then after school, all the middle and high school kids can go through and it'll be the scariest of it all. And I'm sure we'll see Joe cry. What are our student council students currently doing for this year's preparation? Um, we're in the process right now of coming up with the maze that'll kind of house our haunted house. So we'll have curtains and everything where clowns can hide behind and jump out and scare you at any moment. And of course we had our trip to China Town that you guys saw last week where we got a bunch of stops as well. So we're just kind of getting ready to visit. Alright, thank you. Yeah, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. I wonder how the Ivy League is doing this year. Well, it appears here that they're having a black show with their gold medal after winning the tournament. Good job, Mr. Chase, and the new basketball player. Hopefully, JB and the varsity will do this as long as If you want your picture to get featured on the roar, make sure to use the tag hashtag Berkeley TV. Speaking of sports, the Berkeley varsity girls volleyball team are having a tournament today. Good luck, girls. Well, that's it from us, coming from the Berkeley TV. Make sure to get your costume ready on October 31st for Berkeley's spooky Halloween. We're, We're the, the Berkeley, Berkeley Lions, Lions here. Roar.